I just learned that 50,000 women are killed each year by their intimate partners and or family members. Uh, I checked out a report from the United Nations on this matter and I also came about a story on a young woman from Georgia. She was 19 years old and she was killed by her boyfriend and buried in the woods. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because this helps us to kind of accept a really important lesson and that lesson is that you should never date someone who has nothing to lose never date someone who has nothing to offer number one first and foremost the reason is not because they will kill you right I mean there are plenty of people who have nothing to lose who won't kill you but number one the reason why you don't want to date or deal with with someone um, who has nothing to lose is because it goes against the number one rule of putting yourself first um, and the number one rule of leveling up and having a healthy relationship life um, and the reason why it breaks that rule is because we are never supposed to deal with someone who isn't adding value to our life and if something and if someone has nothing to lose then it's damn near impossible for them to ever add any value to our lives right so this story is very disturbing but unfortunately it is not all that strange and rare um, some continents have this problem more than others. Some regions of the world have this problem more than others of women being killed by their intimate partners, their boyfriends, their husbands, even their fathers, their brothers, other family members. Um, but when it comes to our romantic relationships, we pretty much have, again, depending on your culture, but we pretty much have the power to choose who we become involved with for our romantic and intimate relationships. We cannot choose our family members, we can't choose our fathers, we can't choose our cousins, we can't choose our brothers, right? But we can choose who we date. And this is a really <laughs> big lesson on how we should never choose to date someone who isn't adding value to our lives because honestly we can do bad all by ourselves and if someone isn't adding value to your life, then you should just X them. Um, but not only that, is when people don't have anything to lose, you know, they'll do, they can do anything and it won't be, it won't be the end of the world for them, right? They don't have anything that they're trying to save, that they're trying to preserve. Um, a lot of times that can be just like a simple reputation too, right? So if someone has, doesn't even have like, a decent reputation you know like what difference does it make if they take someone's life or what difference does it make if they never get clean or they never get sober or they never do right by the people who care and love for them so I learned about this story through one of my favorite um, youtubers Chloe underscore if you haven't checked her channel out now you should check it out it's really amazing it inspires a lot of my ideas and in my perspectives as well um she writes on her community board about this um another young lady murdered by a dusty that she thought she could change um the young lady's name is tia choats or t choats i'm not sure how she pronounces it but she was buried in the woods for days by her fiance before finally confessing to police uh, before he finally confessed to the police that he strangled her to death over an argument. This young woman was 19 years old and she was three months pregnant. Um, and then when I hop over to another article, um, this is an interview from Gossip on this.com. Um, Tia's mother who begged her to get out of the relationship says that um, the biggest thing that she would say is I could change him I can help him right and ladies did it, changing a person changing a grown man is not our job helping a grown man is not our job um, if you hear that thunder um, sorry <laughs> it's thundering outside right now but it is not our job to change a grown man or to help a grown man 
or to raise a grown man or finish raising a man whose mother didn't do the job, whose father didn't do the job, okay? That's not our job. That's not our job. In relationships, we are to be companions, right? And as women, we are to be provided for and protected. Um, and this is the exact opposite. I mean, and if you open the doors for a man to use, abuse, or exploit you by not vetting him first and making sure that he has value, that he adds value to your life, then you're just setting yourself for, you're setting yourself up for a lot of these kind of situations to develop, right? So we wanna nip all of that in the bud and make sure, you know, we know our self-worth and ensure that the people who are entering in our lives mean us well, have good intentions, but more than just having good intentions, their actions are good and they are obviously and clearly adding value to our lives. So never date someone who has nothing to lose. It is very dangerous. It can be very dangerous, um, both in a physical material way and also in an emotional, psychological way as well. And you just waste a lot of your time.